Autobahn's Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary just opens it opened its short loop 15 minutes ago. Yeah, we're so happy to see it because they did take some damage from Hurricane Irma. Four in your corners, Catherine Marsh is live there this morning with how that cleanup is going now. Catherine. Good morning, Chris and Jane. Yeah, we're here at the Cor uh, Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary with the director, Jason, over here. Now, Jason, I have to say, it looks great. It looks like you guys have done a lot of cleanup. Talk to me about that. What's this process been like? Well, you know, we couldn't have done the cleanup without all of our volunteers and staff who, of course, had their own issues after Irma. But um, we had dozens of people come out and help us with chainsaws and rakes and gloves and just worked really hard getting the boardwalk cleared, removing the trees, and we're open. So, Ivan, I kind of want you to take a take a walk over here and just kind of show the scenery out here. Now, this is so peaceful and so nice out here. What can people expect to see? I know the short loop is open today, so what does that look like? Right. Well, the short loop, the, the boardwalk is two and a quarter miles long, and it's a figure eight. So the first loop, that one mile loop, is open. We still have a lot of work to do on the back portion, but as they they'll see what they always see, with the exception of a few trees down. Um, and in the last couple of minutes since we've been standing here, we've seen probably two dozen wading birds fly overhead. They're waking up, they're coming to breakfast as well. So you're gonna have a lot of wildlife that you would normally see here. Because there are fewer leaves on the trees, you're also gonna have an easier chance spotting the little warblers and the migratory birds that are coming in to feed on the fall webworms. How does it make you feel to finally have your doors opened today for the first time? I'm relieved. This is such a sanctuary for people to come in and at a time like this when people are stressed because of Irma, this is a perfect place to go. It lifts the spirits, it relaxes a person and uh, it's my favorite place. All right guys, so we'll have more for you coming up but for right now we are live in Naples. Catherine Marsh Fox 4 in your corner. And Catherine, can you ask him if there's been any effect on the wildlife? He said that they were returning but uh, you know during the hurricane were any of the wildlife hurt or uh, you know anything tragic happened? So has any of the wildlife been affected after the storm? Um, you know, any of the birds or anything like that? Primary impacts at corkscrew, uh, immediately anyway, were to the cavity nesting animals. So um, your nut hatches, your um, uh, woodpeckers, owls, things like that. So we have seen a few birds that have been displaced, um, but they're also make, being made new homes. After the damage, you'll have more cavities formed. Great to hear. They're coming back. All right. Thank you so much. We'll check with you again. And just a reminder, the Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary is located at 375 Sanctuary Road West in Naples. It is open again, uh, just opened about 18 minutes ago. It's going to stay that way until 530 in the afternoon. Right now, this weekend, $10 for adults, free for those under 18.